So friends, today we will learn something about ArtCAD drawing from the window decor panel or you can say Jali design on CNC 3-axis router. So, uh, first thing that you have should have with you is the color or images from the net black and white. Uh, so, also you should know about the length, breadth and the height of the material we are using. At the time of actual machining, we will need one more extra sheet of the same size but with the thickness. Here I am taking thickness as a height as a 4 mm for the extra sheet. But I am taking the example for to cut the machine on the machine as a 12 mm as a thickness. So here we go. In art cam, Firstly, open the images. These are some downloaded images from the net. You can choose any, like this one, this one, or this one. Let us take this one, or this one, this one, or this. Let us take this one. Open. Firstly, it will say, "Okay." Firstly, no need to give the dimension about the length width. First, we will create just the vectors from the bitmap images. Here is the bitmap vector. Now, reduce the colors. Reduce colors to two colors. Okay. Then, create vectors. You can see the vectors are created. Now, minimize the contrast. Now, uh, okay, now group the vector and cut the vector. Here now you need to input the exact size of the material. Now I am taking the standard size, the maximum size of the CNC router that actually cut on the 3 axis is 4 to 4 feet by 8 feet. That is in inches 48 by 96 inches. Converted in mm. Resolution should be always be higher. Then choose the lower left corner as the origin. We will see further about the origin and self cell distance in detail at the time of operating. Then say OK. Now you paste the vector. Now you have to make the transform. Here is there is option for the transform or click the T and then the top points will appear you increase like this uh, if you choose alt it will increase from both sides symmetrically now if you want to make it at the middle of the model vector align center model. here is the shortcut also f9 here like this if the outer rectangle is the showing this one is the already the same size of the material then there is no need to having the outer rectangle in the image okay we can delete it and uh, then if you like to increase further size you can increase like this. first t for transform then choose alt and increase it from all the way now this is one example i'm taking for the exact size so now choose the tool path into digital path in profile. In profile there are two three options like along, inside and outside. You can see here the icon outside is going outside. I also show you after the simulation how it looks like. Now here we are taking the 12 mm as the material thickness and the length and width as the 4 feet by 8 feet. Okay. When at the time of machining, you will need one more sheet on the below side of the machined sheet. Then uh, starting date, starting sheet should be always be zero. Finish depth is 12.2 for 12 mm thickness. I will show you why it is 12.2. In order to cut it throughout, we need to give some more from the material thickness that is 0.2 mm material, and then. 
um, select the tool in tool while selecting metric go in the wood and end mail you can choose end mail 3 mm also if the email vector are more complex and uh, more sharp if the 6 mm tool is not able to cut or give the perfect sharp shape then you can use also use the 3 mm but there are some parameters you need to adjust that is the feed rate if uh, you are using the 3 mm with the same parameter of the 3 mm and if the material is hard there may be chances of breakage of the tool so always uh, remember the or you can also decrease the size of the uh, spindle rpm here i am choosing 6 mm here the step down is 12.2 or and finite is also 12.2 so it will cut in one pass only one pass only step down in it will cut in one pass okay and if the uh, step down i put is as a 6.1 it will do the machining in two passes here is an image of the uh, mounted material you can see here there is a two sheets here i am taking the same material thickness but no need we are going extra is a point two only so four to five mm thickness is enough for extra material you can consider it as a wastage and this is the clamp you need to measure in the program only the clamping distance should be how much so the tool should not be collide with the clamp and uh, machining should not be stop in between so uh, okay so in the art camp there are the three options as, as i told you already that is uh, along inside and outside here i am choosing is 12.2 directly in one pass so now you can say that calculate now see first here is a three options along uh, if the vectors are open if the vectors are open then the, you can choose along only because it cannot detect the inside and outside of the open vector but if you can choose the if you have the closed vector you can use any along inside and outside also so here we go now this is the sub zero distance sub zero distance denotes the how much tool will go up after cutting one this this one close then this one then it should go up then also go down 12.2 then cut i will show you this also normally this value is 25 taken since the if uh, let us see now we will do define the material as a 12 mm this should be always high this is upper limit okay and then say calculate now now you can see the here the sub zero distance here is the i am showing the side view this is the sub zero distance now the material is see this is the point 2 this is 12 and it is going at a, the tool after cutting each circle or the curve close vector it goes up distance that is called as sub zero distance and uh, sub zero distance is a logical you can see if the any kind of the chief if you consider this chief is come out then the material thickness will be doubled so it thickness will become 24 when if the tool goes uh, to the forward it may come in in its path so add to the sub zero distance double more than the double as 25 okay now you can see uh, how the machining is going now next is uh, simulation uh, you can also see the here there is a profile in me here you can also can select here now it is outside you can see the toolpath is outside if you choose along and uh, say calculate now you will see the profile only along the vector if you see inside it will be and say calculate now it will be generated inside 
normally I am choosing inside because the size of the material is same as the I have mounted clamped material and the size is already rectangle is outer rectangle is already I have the same so no need to cut the outer rectangle I have deleted that rectangle so now I have to choose the inside okay if the material size is different you have to choose outside without deleting the outer rectangle now toolpath simulation simulate all toolpath simulate toolpath here you can see the simulation simulation will show you the finished product uh, if you want to give the material like to how it will look you can choose here as a light or horizontal or vertical maybe vertical and then say apply you can see the vertical lines vertical light of material now if you want to see the machining you can go here to path simulation simulation control bar okay uh, also you can delete the material or delete waste material in there are you can see here delete the peak material if I pick material it will be deleted keep the peak material and this is good because no need to click add many times just click once and this is the final product so now need to save the toolpath you can save it as like this save toolpath as normally we can save it in many format but uh, I am saving it in the new group 3 axis .mmg file you can also save it in this .cnc .nc no problem then say it, uh, it will be saved in desktop save okay okay it is already saved okay I will show you so here is the G code file you can see here how it looks so thanks for watching also one thing is that is clamping distance how you will measure it I will show you see here is the measuring tape you can measure distance from here to here and here is the distance it is uh, 71 mm always make the measurement in mm it will be good for calculation here is also 85 so today we stop here if you uh, i hope you like the video please subscribe like and comment for any query and inquiry of if you want to make any kind of doers or uh, engraving any kind of cnc routing machine you can mail me on this thank you